A blind man and his service dog attacked by three pit bulls. He says if a good Samaritan didn't jump in and help his dog would be dead. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska has more tonight. This attack happened right in front of an elementary school. The victim telling me that he is extremely grateful that no students were out when these dogs were on the loose tonight. We spoke to the dog's owners. What are you doing, you goofball? Richard Draper is legally blind. His four-year-old lab, Andy, helps him maneuver. She's, she's my eyes. There's no doubt about it. She's my eyes. These are healed scars under her neck from last week's attack. These are pictures so graphic we blurred them of her neck moments after. Next thing I knew, I seen this flash of light, white pounce on her. One was on my foot, one was on her neck, and the other one was circling us like a pack of wolves, he called it. The Good Samaritan called 911 for help. The dog has blood on his neck because they bit him. They were three of them chewing on him. Draper says the dog's owners never apologized or made any attempt to help him. The owner admitted to us that the dog was in her front yard without a leash at the time. When we asked for an interview, she got defensive. You don't feel bad about the dog getting his throat ripped out and, and, and bit at? The dog got two little holes in his neck. I have pictures of it. I don't care what you have. Now I'm not talking to nobody. After the attack, Draper says the responding officer had little compassion for what had just happened and wouldn't let him leave the scene until the report was finished. This dog is my eyes. My eyes were laying on the ground, bleeding, coughing up blood. It was just, it was ridiculous. And I wondered if the police dog was, was shot in the line of duty, would the police wait an hour and a half to fill out the paperwork before they got their dog to the vet? Draper says his main concern now isn't that the wounds of his dog won't heal. It's that emotionally she won't be able to recover and continue to be his service dog. We're in Bradenton tonight. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.